How to connect Printful with eBay. Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Printful is a popular print-on-demand service that allows users to create and sell custom design products. If you're an eBay seller, you may be interested in using Printful to create and fulfill your orders. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to connect Printful with eBay from setting up your Printful account and creating products. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use Printful with eBay to create and sell custom design products. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to create your Printful account. Now over here right now, we are currently in Printful. So to get started, you're simply going to click on let's go over here. Now, if you already have an account, you can simply click on sign in from the home page earlier and then log in into your account. Now, over here, you can simply click on sign up with Facebook, sign up with Google, sign up with Apple, and sign up with your email. And you can simply proceed on whatever question Printful is going to ask you. And after doing that, you would be able to fully set up your account. So we're going to go back. Now, after signing up or logging in, this is what we're going to look at right now this is our dashboard for our printful now the next thing i'm going to teach you is we're going to create a product that we are going to sell in our ebay store over here now to create a product we're first going to check out the different product that we are going to create over here on the product catalog in the product catalog this is where we will be able to find all the different products that we can use our design and sell on our ebay store as you can see here, we have new special offers over here, new products, eco-friendly, men's clothing, women's clothing, kids and youth clothing, hats, accessories, and living section over here. You can simply select any of this category on the specific product that you are aiming to create. For example, we're going to create an accessory and you can simply choose whatever option that you have over here. For example, we're going to go with a tote bag going to click this and we will be able to see all the different sellers of a tote bag over here as you can see here we have a best seller section over here this means that these are the tote bags that people are buying the most so we're simply going to select any of this option i'm going to select this tote bag over here i'm going to click this and by clicking that i will be able to see the different information about this tote bag so what i'm going to do next is I'm going to select a technique. We have DTG printing or embroidery. You could select any of this option. It is completely up to you. Although the price would change depending on which technique that you chose. Now you could also choose the size over here. It's a, it's a one size fits all size right now. We could also see the pricing range and estimated time of delivery over here. You could also have a digitized fee over here and a bulk price calculator so right now we're going to create a product template we're going to click this and in this section this is where we will be able to create our design right now i have embroidery over here if you want to change your product you can simply click on this button over here and you would be able to change it to any product that you would like for now we're going to stick with this so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on design as you can notice also over here this is where we will be able to create like a variation or variants for our product we have a black and then an oyster color over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on design over here and under design this is where you will be able to add your design for your product the first option over here is to hire a design expert in fiverr if you want to do that there's also choose file add text add a click clip art or add a quick design now we're going to go with choose file now when you're creating a design for your print on demand products either on printful or any other uh, platform that you would like to use i suggest that you would always use canva to create your design because in canva you would be able to creatively use any elements that is presented depending on what topic that you would like to create in for example we're going to try and create one over here i'm going to click on that template and over here this is our editing page for canva and in this section we have an element and you can simply search any topic that you would like for example a cat and it's going to show you graphic related 
images for a cat over here and you can simply use different elements different graphics even photos to create your design and it is completely up to you you can simply do click and drop just like that and you would be able to use that design by clicking on share over here and download over here now for now we're going to go back here and i'm going to choose a file as you can see here it's going to ask you to double check your embroidery file because there is a limitation or a strict rule when creating a embroidery print just like in this pop-up over here so we're going to click on accept and over here this is where we will be able to see our store file library in this section we would be able to upload our photos and select them once again or when we are creating another product so you can simply click on upload a new file over here and you would be able to upload a photo that you like for now we're going to stick with our file in library right now we're going to click on apply and we're going to wait for it and as you can see here we have our product over here we could enlarge in it unfortunately there is a limit for our design as you can see here there is a box and we can't exceed that so we're going to stick with this one over here and we're going to change our color over here we're going to go with brown and also in embroidery type there is a limit on what color you would like to have so as as you can see, it's going to turn my brown color design to uh, maroon over here. And that is not the original color. So we're going to change it to brown just like that. Because brown or all gold is the closest color to my original design. Now you can also click on color and details over here. Transform. And you could also change the position by clicking this option over here. We could uh, turn it to the right just like that. You could slowly adjust the position of your design not much but just a tiny bit just like that and you could also click on full screen preview grid and zoom option over here now after that i'm going to click on continue and in this section i would be able to edit information about my product over here that is currently product template title it is echo tote bag the product type is a use product color is like it's not showing here technique is embroidery thread colors print file and sizes over here we're going to save our product template and just like that and just like that and then we're going to click on add store and we would be able to add our product to our store as you can see here this is where we will be able to manage details of our product and we're going to click on proceed to mockups and we have two options basic mockup or custom mockup for now we're going to go with basic mockup and over here we could select any of this mockup that we like and we could also click on additional and like select the specific mockup that you would like to have just like that and i'm going to click on proceed to details and in this section we would be able to edit information about our products in more details like the product title description and many more information over here now i'm going to go with pricing now in this section we would be able to edit our pricing over here set our revenue retail price and many more we could click this just like that you could edit it in percentage and many more now what we're going to do next is we're going to submit to store and just like that we have a new product on our store by clicking on our product catalog over here we would be able to see and we're going to click on our stores over here now after creating your product we're going to click on our stores over here on the left side and over here this is where we will be able to see all the different store connected with our printful as you can see right now i have a store connected to shopify and we would be able to add other store by clicking on this option over here by choosing platform by clicking this we would be able to see all the different options that we could connect from and we're going to look for eBay. Now over here, we have our eBay selection over here. We're going to click on connect with eBay. And it's going to teach us how we could connect our eBay account into our printful. Now you're simply going to copy and do whatever this step-by-step -step information over here. And by following this uh, information over here, you would be able to connect your eBay with printful. As you can see here, the first step is to authorize eBay account access then the step two is the general info you could fill out the necessary details you could 
enter your PayPal email address, the maximum handling time, just like that. And then you're going to check out the payment policy, return policy, and then finally finalize your connection. And you would be able to see your orders or products on your eBay account. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.